our local forecast. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's, move let's on. go yeah. to the heat. Yes. 92 is the record for today. We topped out at 90. Yes, it's a little less on the humid side, but it's still been warm out there. 88 is where we should be this time of year. Let's talk a little bit about our climate because September wrapped, wrapped up and it was a warm one. Only slightly warmer, but 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than average, like 83 and a half degrees. That was our average temperature. But look when you go back to 1970 to now for September's 2.3 degrees. And what you really want to see is it's just getting warmer and warmer each month. Now that makes for more sp mosquito days. Look, if you don't care about the heat, care about the mosquito days. Now it's not a big change. Normally for our particular area, we have about 320 days per year for mosquito days. That's gone up by two days. But what's that? That's temperatures from 50 to 95, which is most of the year, right? We're talking probably about half of January into February would be our coolest months. Relative humidity of 42% or more. But hey, across the country, 64% of the metro areas are actually seeing those days get a little bit on the longer side. We'll take the uh, coolness that we have out there right now. I mean, it's nice. Temperatures are warm here in Tampa at 80 degrees, but that's the warm spot. Most areas are in the mid 70s, dew points in the mid 60s, so it's a little bit more comfortable than obviously summertime air. 69 in Fishhawk right now, 75 in Valrico, 78 in Lando Lakes. Most areas anywhere from 74 to about 78 degrees. Dew points coming up. Low 70s all day in the panhandle. It's been kind of muggy there. We're getting in the upper 60s to near 70 now. So yeah, you do feel a little bit more humidity, but look at all the rain that's moving up through Alabama, uh, through the panhandle, Georgia as well. And this will actually continue on and off for the next couple of days for them. It's gonna be a flooding issue. For us, we just don't have much to talk about except for a couple little showers that you can see up in Hernando and parts of Eastern Citrus County. We had a couple showers even down towards Tampa today. Tomorrow we'll go about 20 to 30% chances, a little bit more than what we've been seeing, but not a whole lot. So let's go tomorrow morning, five to seven o'clock, we'll start out dry. Morning commute looks great. Afternoon, about 3.30, perhaps a pop-up shower. Do not expect much, but by 5.30 to 6 o'clock, especially east of I-75, we'll get a few showers, perhaps a rumble of thunderstorm. I don't think we'll see a whole lot. This is not just like, th like summer, but this is just an isolated shower popping up. Looks like we'll do exactly the same as we get into our Wednesday. So look at the rain chances. Very low next couple of days, but by Thursday, especially Friday and Saturday, afternoon, showers and storms will become a little bit more numerous. We're not talking about an all day rain event. Just kind of think almost like summertime out there. So for tonight, we'll drop down to the low 70s. For tomorrow, we'll go back up into about 90 degrees. Tropics are basically quiet. We're watching that area off the southeast coast. 10% chance for development or less, so I think we're okay. Seven day forecast shows it staying hot this week, close to 91 Wednesday and Thursday. Slightly cooler for the weekend as we see a few more clouds and a few more showers Sunday. Looks a little bit drier. Neither day is rain out though, so we're looking good.